Welcome to this quick video showing you how to download and start working with the Business Central app for mobile devices. In the footnote to this video, there's a link to Microsoft's help page found here on docs.microsoft.com that talks through this process, but it's quite straightforward. If you go to your chosen app store, in my case the Play Store, because we're using an Android device, you will also find this on the Apple Store for Apple devices. I'd suggest you search for Business Central. If you look for Microsoft Dynamics or Dynamics 365, for example, you'll find a range of other apps that are all very useful, but are for other areas of the Dynamics 365 suite. So search for Business Central. Just check it's the official app with the correct symbol and Microsoft Corporation. You'll see install. I've already installed it or downloaded it. So once it's downloaded and available on your device, you can click open or we can load it from the front screen now and we have the app here. Then ask you to sign in with the appropriate account. Now, if you're using Business Central in the cloud, the SaaS version, you simply sign in with your account. If you're using Business Central on-premise, then you need to use the advanced options and click on premises and then give it the appropriate URL that's how you connect the web client for Business Central externally. It must be available externally and then your username and your password. So I'm going to sign in using my, my cloud demo version. Add your sign in details, click the arrow, and your password, then click sign in. If it's your first time accessing, you'll see the getting started screens that you can proceed to and then begin using the interface. So this, like you saw in the previous video, hopefully, this is now me signed in to my SaaS demo environment, which is Business Central in the cloud. I'm accessing the same database, the same company, and have the same access to information that my permissions grant me. So I can go and investigate the 18 sales orders as if I was working in the web client. Once you've signed in, if you wish to change the settings, click the three dots, the assist edit on the right hand side, scroll down to the system options and you have my settings, where if you wish to, you can change between the available companies. To do this, simply choose the appropriate company, such as Techman Training and hit the tick. Alternatively, if you wish to sign out, click the sign out, and then we're back at the start screen. There is also an app that you can get from the Microsoft Store, as well as various entertaining games, obviously. But if you look for Business Central, you will find the app that you can install click get. This will download and install the product for you. Once installed, click launch. And this is pretty much the same thing, but is from the, the Microsoft Store and is designed for my Windows device, for example. So to simply sign myself into this, I need my access credentials. So sign in with my account. Get the password, sign in. And now what I have is access to that same database, like we discussed before, same permissions, same access to data, but this time, this is basically just Edge running in a frame. I don't have to worry about URLs. I don't have to think about other bookmark pages. Nothing else basically gets in the way. I can simply use it as if it was an installed program. So if I close that, close down Microsoft Store, close this page. So now when I want to learn Business Central, I can simply go and find that app that's here. Signs me straight in. 
and I don't need to use my web browser in the normal sense. Don't need to worry about shortcuts and other other shortcuts and, and pages, web pages getting in the way. I've simply got one focused area to work with that will make me fast and efficient working with the program. So whether you choose to use Business Central on a normal web browser, on the app on your Windows device, or the app for your mobile device, you've got the same access to data anytime, anyplace. In the next video in this series, we'll show you a, a good use case example involving the approval process using workflows.